The Highway Life, based on a true story. Yeah, what is good, y'all? Sunday, happy Sunday, everybody. November 4th. It's kind of chilly out here, but I love the cold anyways. Um, for obvious reason, I'm fat. I don't like to sweat. Um, yesterday, I put the first board in, showed you guys the the two different cuts um, that you may have to adjust for. Um, I'm not going to show you every cut on the bus now with the rest of the floor, but what I am going to show you is how I connect the next piece um, and how I fasten it down subfloor liquid nail and the screws um i'm gonna do as much as i can i'm on a countdown now um for our camping trip this coming weekend they actually have snow in the forecast um up towards the mountains but hopefully i can get this done worst case scenario i'll get the floor done completely um just so the kids can set up their cots or sleeping bags or what have you um the ceiling yeah um let's go all right i gotta get these boards back out just real quick how sore i am today man my shoulders are burning it sucks working by yourself it is what it is but those boards were heavy awkward to handle had to lift it on the bus i'm just i'm sore guys um if you noticed i'm wearing my same shirt it's not that i didn't shower i didn't shower but I'm getting tired of messing up my clothes. I've got cocking, I got glue, I got rips, dirty. I'm just ruining my clothes. Um, didn't think of it at first, but best practice, guys. Get yourself a set of wardrobe or whatever, work clothes, just and, and just leave it on the bus. Um, my tip for the day. Just a tip for the day. All the excitement yesterday, I fucked up. Um, when I placed my board, um, I was so excited that when I pushed it to line it up to the wall and the wheel well, um, I wasn't centered towards the middle. So the board looks great there also, but I'm off centered. I marked my spot all the way down because I didn't have my chalk line. Um, but because I marked it, it was hard to see and I didn't pay attention, I lost track. Um, so today, I'm gonna line the board back up. Since I don't have my chalk line, the next best thing, I took a little piece, of, uh, a little nail, one here and a thumbtack on the other side, and all I've done is run my fishing line. That way I have a point of uh, reference. The only problem is when I did that, my line isn't centered to the two by four because when I placed my two by four, I didn't measure coming off the wall. I just eyed it all the way down horrible thing to do now i gotta fix what i've done so the way to fix that is to add a quarter inch coming off the wall to my stud from the wall to the stud i make my adjustment as far as the gap that i leave behind i was always going to have a gap to begin with because of the flexion i could always fill it in with caulk once i place my wall i can always clean it up with trim but my my floor is going to go on top of it anyway so i'm not too concerned moving the line for two reasons one is i need good placement for my board to screw down to i don't want to screw it to the edge of the the two by four i want to be as center as possible um that's not going to be the case but it's going to be close enough the other reason is my bus needs to remain square if you remember the bus is square from the from the rails of the metal um that's how i did my framing so i need to continue that Otherwise, nothing else is gonna work. Remember, I'm not using a level in this project because the bus is not leveled. So everything I build, it has to remain squared. Okie dokie pokey. Get ready to put the board down. I got my liquid nails. Now this particular liquid nails, guys, is made for subflooring. Um, I'm just gonna put it on all my studs that the board's gonna be laying on. Um, got my screws ready to go, my drill ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this. That worked out well. That one tube, 
pretty much did the entire board. Um, I have a little bit left over. Don't do what I do. Come on, man. Ah, I'm gonna fuck up the tongue. Oh well. Not bad. Come on, fatty. Already. I gotta find my line. Shit. Wish I had two people. I got a line there. Good there. Good there. Still flush. Okay, I'm gonna screw it down. Screw, ready to go. So I'm using a uh, T-Star Plus drive. Um, they provide you with one when you buy it in the box. Um, I find it to tighten much better than Phillips. Um, and it does have one of those countersink um, edges to it, so I won't have to do any pre-drilling or anything like that. Now, if the screw pushes the board off the, the two by six, all you have to do is stop, reverse, and when you do it the second time, it'll pull it all away. So I got it flush and I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do the rest of these. The first board is um, liquid nailed down, fastened down with screws. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my second piece on this one. Um, it was really long stretch that I had to cut there. So I used my best two by four, marked it, drilled it down in three spots. And then I just took the saw and just rolled along it. And there's the piece over there. It's the piece that I cut, um, that half a foot, because I needed to land on that two by six versus the eight foot being over here. This piece here that I cut, that I should have saved, the reason why I didn't save it was because it was so thin that it that section of the wood would be would not be as strong. Um, so covering this here with this long piece would make this area stronger. Now with this second piece that I'm about to lay down, I left that. The reason why I left it this time, which I should have left the first time, but I wasn't incorrect by thinking to use the longer piece for that little section. Um, but the reason why I left it the second time is I don't really care if it's weak at that point, at that particular point or this point, because when I built the box for my wheel well, my, my framing was set on top it and press it down anyways. So I thought about it afterwards. My second piece. Um, this was the hardest piece to cut yet. Um, so I had to factor in that piece that I just talked about, the wheel well. This little slot here is for that part of the door that has a lip. Coming all the way down, this little slot here was for that piece. And then obviously this here was to connect to my door. That piece kicked my ass. Um, it took me quite a while, um, only because I got one shot at it. Um, so I had to do all my measurements, um, place it correctly, look at it, imagine the cut, check it again, then I finally did the cut. Now I haven't placed it yet, so this is first shot at it. And it may need some trimming, but I did factor in uh, a sixteenth all the way around, except where, where it connects at, um, just for a loose fit. Um, again, I can fill the the outside area in with uh, foam, caulk. Plus, um, I ha I still have my floor to go on, and then I can hide anything with um, trimming. This is the hard part because I am only one person. This is fastened down, so when I put this piece down, it doesn't move. Um, because I am only one person, the board is a little bit heavy um, and long. I need to fit that groove into that tongue. 
Now, I did not screw these last six inches here all the way down because I needed to give a little bit because if I pinned it down with the screws, um, it's it would be tougher to connect that piece to this piece. My driver board and my passenger board, once it's joined, this outside here needs to be flush because my next panel that I put in, the driver, I'm sorry, the passenger and the driver needs to sit flush to that. Um, the tongue and groove feature, it's only for these boards connecting to each other and the next board connecting to each other. When it butts up into this, it's basically just the factory um, square of the how square the board is. So you might have a hairline uh, gap, but I'm just I'm I'm using liquid nail uh, soft floor anyway, so I'll probably just put something in between as I push the board together. Have my uh, passenger rear side board ready to go down. I've already uh, put liquid nail down. I did put some on the tongue. I normally would normally I normally would know. I would normally put the the liquid nail on the actual groove. That way it has a pocket to sit in. Um, but I'm having a difficult time because there's no, there's not much space to uh, slide this groove part in. So I've already um, made sure that I don't have any screws down on the other board. That way the the tongue part will lift up slightly as I push this board onto it. So hopefully things will go good. There we go. Um, so I gotta slide this piece onto that. I'm gonna have to assess this side along, but I don't wanna damage my wood. Put a block underneath so that it doesn't slam down on me. Oh, there's actually actually one down there. That's probably why it didn't go down. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go in there and adjust that. I'm lined up. So I just gotta knock this in place. I'm gonna need to help this piece here along because it's a little tight. And all I'm going to do is put my 2x4 on that side and just tap it with my baby sledgehammer. It's not going to snap on me because it's in the groove, but it just won't take it. There it is. Only shitty part, I messed up on my calculation on my measurement. Um, well, actually, my cut. I was cleaning it and I. Okay, my measurement. Um, my tongue and groove is in. I love it. Um, the only thing I had a problem with my tongue side, this, well, this board gets thicker slightly um, than this side. So, what I'm going to do once it's said and done, as you can see here, my liquid nail spewed out um, when I squeeze them together. Um, I'm going to address that at the same time as this slight lip uh, with my sander. So once that's dry, I'm going to just hit it with a sander to get it smoothed out. That way when I put my floor on, um, it'll be flush. It'll be flat. I'm going to go ahead and do those two tonight. Um, but off camera. Uh, sorry guys. But you guys saw what I did um, the first day and the second day. It's the, it's the same the rest of the way down. This was the most intricate cut. Uh, I had a really tough time with it uh, because it took a while. Um, not so much because it was hard, but because I literally had to compensate for the front, the wheel well, that 2x6, the door, that 2x4, the wall, my door jam. Um, yeah. But I got it done. I'm happy. I hope you guys can see me okay. Um, it's late. Uh, the day got away from me. Uh, I, I was working out here, but I was also doing work for my um, for my job. Um, closing out the end of the month, it's pretty hectic for us, which is one of the reasons why I have to hurry up and get these other two boards done tonight because I'm gonna be busy during the week. Um, for my so 
I got to get it done for the camping trip, but more so because I'm tired of carrying this shit in and out. I'm too old for this shit. My body's sore. Um, I hope you guys were able to get some good uses out of yesterday and today's video videos. Um, do your research. Pick what's good for your project and what your needs are. Um, but I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Got, I don't got nothing else. I'm tired. Be good. Be good to each other. Your boy Big loves you. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Deuces. Oh, and thanks for watching.